Okay, this is going to be a quick uh, and different kind of video. You are looking at the underbelly of the 1U cockpit module from Endorphins. You're actually looking at half of it. I've taken it apart. Here's the other half here that stacks on these headers. Uh, in a previous video, I was complaining about how channel 1 on this all stereo uh, mixer is expecting a TRS jack instead of just uh, being a pair of tip sleeve jacks to carry a stereo signal like everything else in modular. And in the manual for this uh, module, they only describe a feature that is existing on the 3U version, which is a set of jumper cables to switch this green input jack um, from TRS to uh, a normalized TS, which is what I want. I use this jack for my kick drum. I want that mono, so I want it equal and um, the same signal on the left and right channels uh, in this in this setup. And I've been traditionally using a clunky little uh, adapter that sits on the top side. This is upside down right now, it sits on that side, so that it would take the mono Euro rack signal from my kick and put it on the tip and ring of this connector and everything would be happy. I hate this adapter. It's flimsy, it breaks. Um, it's annoying to have to remember, and I want this jack to be uh, tip sleeve normalized, just a mono jack. So I've b busted out the uh, dusty old soldering iron and took apart the module to try and make a fix, and I'm going to share kind of what I did here with you. So uh, first, if we undo this, I'm going to try to keep things in focus here. You look at this side, there we go, of the jack. I actually just use an X-Acto knife to cut off the side of the green um, kind of shield box there and literally pulled out with a little sharp metal tool the connector that actually uh, links, um, you know, bumps up against the cable, the ring of the cable, which is kind of like, a, I think, a two-sided connector for this. Um, particular setup here. Is that back in focus? There we go. Um, and I just pulled it out. So this is the tool that I used. It's just kind of a really sharp pokey tool with a good handle and an exacto. Uh, and what came out was this uh, kind of small mangled piece of metal. So the, the issue is that if you just solder the tip and ring together, when you plug in a mono cable, you create a ground loop between the signal and the ground kind of goes backwards up. So instead of having the same uh, signal on left and right, because the mono cable end is um, where the right is on the ring is now also where the ground is, it creates an issue. So yanking out that piece that touches the ring uh, that doesn't exist on this leaves just the sleeve connector to touch ground. But what's left here on the circuit board is a pin and a hole expecting a rigging signal. So then all I've done is take uh, just some of these random little header pins. I just cut one off of this little piece here, um, broke off the black plastic, removed the, the angle, and I just soldered it between those two pins. So really closely, I'm just going to try and point with my little red thing here. This pair of pins, the right of these two pairs, or this, the right of these two in this pair is the left signal, their tip for this jack. And this one over here is the ring for this jack, or the right audio. So now I've bridged these together, and I made it so that underneath this circuit board, actually inside the screen box, there's nothing on the other side of this that's trying to actually connect to our cable and accidentally make a ground loop. And I've been testing this by taking an LFO from Oct, plugging it in, um, and then literally taking the another cable plugged into my zero scope 1U module in my in my A case, and just uh, putting it up against the the pinouts like this. With this just turned off completely apart like this, just to see is the signal carrying through, uh, and how is everything working. And it seems like we should have something functioning. So I'm gonna try and snap the module back together now, um, power it back up plug it in uh, and see if we now have essentially a mono jack there that successfully handles handles sound. So let's let's do that. First things first, 
and get my soldering iron out of the way, which is now off. I'll pull this back a little bit. These little uh, white posts that you can see here are um, have these kind of like flexible tops that you can just like pinch with some pliers. Um, and then that will let you pull the two layers of the board off. And then what should happen is we should be able to snap it right back into place. Okay, here we are uh, plugged back into the B case. Um, you can see it's lit up just fine. I've got a trigger coming from the drum sequencer triggering the kick channel on the LXR or Elixir and a single trigger coming out into the stereo in. And what does it sound like? Perfect. Before, that would have just been in your left ear. I'm mean, gonna need that stupid adapter to stack here to make it in both, just to, to tell the sounds the same. Finally, now I just need to scratch off stereo in right there and it'll be complete. Hopefully this was helpful for somebody. Peace.